Last time there was trouble in the village when the Boggarts revolted. They kidnapped Bert, stole everything not nailed down and ran riot in Bessie. Luckily, Silas was there to negotiate. Even more luckily, Rosie was there to stop him. Now the Boggarts have got what they want and life's back to normal. Well, you know what I'm getting at. No, we can't just pump more ginger beer. We've got enough ginger beer to last it until Silas gives me a pay rise. What we want is treacle. But you're meant to be working. Now up to it, you. Here, pack that in, you. You'll have the roof down on us. Now get digging the lot of them. Yeah, what's to do with you? Best I've ever seen that. It must be nearly pure treacle. Now get on with it. Oh, give us that pick, I'll show you. <laughs> so, what's the problem? I thought you said it was nearly pure. This is the problem. It's the best quality I've ever seen. But I broke three pickaxes just getting this lump out. Oh, don't worry. Eh? I'll stop them out of your wages. Oh, thanks very much. Anyway, it doesn't look that hard to me. Uh, lend me your hammer. I, I don't think you should... There now, see? Crushed to powder. Not so hard after all, eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, perhaps uh, Professor Baines Pilling will have some idea. Well, there's a first time for everything. And I'd better talk to those boggarts. I can't have production interrupted. You'd best take Rosie and that daft pet of hers, then. You'll need an interpreter. Good thinking. Oh, and before you go, there is one thing you could do for me. Aye. Right. Get this rock off my foot! But it's so small, man. Precisely! One could even put it in one's pocket. How could you talk into it if it was in your pocket? Well, I suppose you'd have to put your trousers over your head and... No, no, no! No? No! It's a mobile speaking tube. You can carry it with you. And once I've got it working, you'll be able to speak to anywhere from anywhere. Oh. Hey, up, you two. Tapper, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, it's not for me, it's for Silas. He wants some ideas about this. Well, it's, uh, it's treacle rock, isn't it? I think we were hoping for something a bit more precise than that. Such as? Such as how the mankin holes were meant to dig it up. Well, I'll certainly have a look at it. Hmm, I wonder. Yes. Yes what? I know where it comes from. Well, we knew that already. Yeah, out of a big hole in the ground. Aye, out of a big... No. I mean, I think I know which rocks it comes from. I believe it's part of the Carboniferous treacle seam. Only one way to be certain. Might I trouble you for the loan of your hammer, Tapper? Here we go again. Thank you. Now, stand back. Hey, me hammer! Like, wow. Hmm. Where are we, anyway? He says this is where the boggarts sleep when they're not working. Aha. Uh -huh. So if they're not here, they must be at work. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Come on, let's go and find them. It'll take more than a standard Javelin and Johnson number eight ball peen hammer to crack that stuff. Ow! Me foot! Heavy! Aye, lad. Four and a half pound. I'm afraid you're right, Tapper. This is beyond what ordinary tools can manage. Allow me to present the answer to all your problems. You don't mean you're retiring. The Mark I Frothmatic Turbo Drill. It'll never work. Or if it does, it'll go horribly wrong. Oh, ye of little faith. It's so simple, it can't go wrong. Want to bet? Look, this section here is filled with ginger beer. When I add a small amount of standard treacle, it generates a gaseous effervescence. A what? It goes fizzy. It'll never work. Anyway, the bubbles turn this extra sharp drill made of case-hardened barley sugar. I still say it'll never work. Very well. 
A demonstration, then. Oh, work. Any moment now. Uh... I told you it wouldn't work. My dear Tapper, just because it doesn't work, you cannot infer that it won't... Whoa! Whoa! What did... You... By my head! Oh, oh dear, oh, dear, oh, dear! You really stop me! Help! Whoa! Whoa! Stop me! All right. It works. Oh, that is totally awesome. What the blue blazers? <laughs> what is going on here? Why aren't you working? Do I pay you to play darts or to dig treacle? What was all that rubbish? He said it's a tea break, mate, as specified in the contract. Paragraph 9, subsection 12, clause B. A tea break? Do I let them take tea breaks? How do you make money out of tea breaks? You don't. Well, what's the point of them, then? I'll have to have another look at that contract. Oh, and don't call me mate. Mate. But I haven't tested it properly yet. This is all the test it needs. If it can drill into this seam, it works. If it can't, it doesn't. Besides, it looked like it worked to me. You know, when it nearly took my head off. Oh, dear. And I'm still not sure about the gearing, or the pressure valve, or even the colour. I mean, is green right for mining, or should it be grey, or even cerise? Uh, much though it pains me, Lillian, or it must be your way. You'll have a piece of my latest batch of parking before you go. Ah, well, I've left a stew in the oven. Came from this new treacle seam. Have a seat while Charlie gets you some. Charlie! Uh -huh. Get on with it! Uh, no need to put yourself out on my account. Sit! Right. Brendan, you all right? Right as rain, Lillian. Never fret, I'm made of sterner stuff than that. Now, if you don't mind, I'll just pass out. Um, just make sure there's plenty of treacle in the fuel tank. What for? So that you have enough power. Uh, uh, what do you mean, so I have enough power? I'll not be testing it. You built it, you try it out. Do you think I couldn't? Well, I jolly well will. I wish I hadn't spoke. Right. Contact. Chocks away. Cleared for takeoff. It works. By George, it works. The purest treacle seam in the world. And I can mine it. <laughs> I'm in the money. I mean, I mean, I mean, we're, we're in the money. We've got a lot of... Oh, oh, hey, switch it off. I can't. It hasn't got a switch. He's gone. Totally gone, man. We might never see him again. Did I have him insured? No, this is a tragedy. Gone? Poor old Baines Pilling. Never hurt a fly. Even with his patent extra lethal fly spray. Mind you, Whistle was in bed for a week. Where, where am I? Let's be rational about this. You were drilling downward when you lost control. Good heavens! I'd made a journey to the center of the earth. Steps. That must mean there's intelligent life down here. I must try to make contact. <laughs> so it wasn't the genius he said he was, but he were honest as the day were long. Oh, well, at least he's off the payroll. Poor Professor Baines Pilling. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, uh... What's up with him? Oh, he's a funny little... Ooh. Not you at all. Well, we've all been under considerable amount of strain, Lily, and I'm... Yeah. Aha! Greetings, Earth Dwellers. I bring an offer of friendship from the people of Treacle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Will Brendan ever recover from his parking shock? Will the Professor ever forgive Tapper for making him test the drill? And is there any chance of a sensible story next time? Or is it just going to be another glutinous instalment of The Treacle People? We are the Treacle People, we see treacle, I am low. We are the Treacle People, we all live in Giggle Row. Will and Whistle say the day is treacle, track, go and the way. This is a treacle from below. Don't
Come on, my dream.